Yo, what up? This is Kamel Hassan, a.k.a. Diesel. We all got a story to tell, a lesson to learn. This is my story. <laughs> Yo, what up, though? It's Kamel Hassan, a.k.a. Diesel. This is my story from my mind. support you. That didn't support me? Yeah, didn't. Shit, a lot of people. Yeah. I, you know, for, for me, you know, I understood early, 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 that everybody got their own thing. You know what I'm saying? So even as a kid, you know, coming up, basketball games, shit, you know what I'm saying? Wasn't, wasn't nobody coming to that shit. You know, it wasn't like they didn't want to. Everybody had their own thing going. So, for me, I just learned not to focus on who wasn't supporting, you know what I'm saying? And, and focus on who is supporting, but yeah. Who was your biggest supporter? Um, my lady, April. Um, I would have to say her. Um, I got a few other people that, you know, su support the fuck of TK. Um, you know, shit, that's, you know, the, the, it's, it's a far throw. It's a, it's a far, I mean, well, it ain't a far though, I should say. Yeah, it ain't, you know, I don't, I don't have a lot of supporters like that, bro. I just don't. It's just, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> as far as relationships, what was your best personal relationship? That's a good question. You don't have to name names. That's a good question. Um, best personal relationship. Uh, my God, uh, let's see, yeah. Well, that was kind of business, but I don't know. Okay, no. That's going to be my next Okay, question. okay, well, yeah, okay. No, it ain't, okay, no, okay. Uh, but my personal, it's probably my, you know, my brother, my homeboy Marcel from, uh, you know, my childhood. You know, when, when I became a teenager, all of my friends in the neighborhood, surrounded by around the block, everybody I hope with every day was kind of taking a turn. You know, they was picking up sacks and getting in the, you know what I'm saying? And my homeboy Marcel, we went to the same church. Cause my mama made us go to church. So my homie Marcel, we went to the same church. And uh, he was he was older than me. And he really was just a great influence, man. Like he was, he was always fun, upbeat, charming with the ladies, you know what I'm saying? Well dressed, you know what I'm saying? So he was really a great example for me uh, because I was rough around the edges. We ain't have a lot, you know what I'm saying? I, you know what I'm saying? I, so really being influenced by him those years, it kept me, because he went to church and he was serious about church, serious about God, and we hooped. So that really kept me from turning into the homies I was really, who I really grew up with, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, grew up around and they all dead right now. So. That was God looking out for me. So that was my, for sure, my best person. What about in business? Mikey, Mikey Eckstein. Mikey Eckstein. My. Your, your worst personal relationship? Worst personal relationship? I mean, I'm really, I'm really good. Is you tell like, like a chick or like a just whatever? I mean, I had a lot of niggas say they baby mama. <laughs> no, no, no. I you know, I, me and my son's mother, we had a rough, a rough relationship, but that was just due to poor communication, immaturity on both parts. You know, really right. just, yeah. it, if, you know, it really, now that I look back, it didn't feel like it was about the kids. That felt like hurt from, you know what I'm saying, from both of us. So right. it's not her. Uh, uh, Worst personal relationship? Yeah, it's a, it, it was a girl who would come cut tires and pour paint on cars, and yeah, she was she was off the chain, Brody. Uh, she was. 
She was. That's probably the worst. Cause you Who's know, when worst? I get a bad vibe by somebody, I usually, yeah, I usually don't get, in, you know, get cool with people that I don't have a good feeling about, male or female. Right. Who was your worst uh, relationship in business? Shit, the motherfucker who's running a sloppy weed house and got my goddamn weed took by the police. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> yeah, the worst. What have you learned about relationships? Um, uh, the same thing with everything in life, man. You have to stick to the basics, you know what I'm saying? We make shit so complicated, you know what I'm saying? Veering off to the, to the, you know, number one, communication, man. We, you know, we don't really know, as a people don't really know how to communicate with each other. And it took me years to, and I'm still working on it. I don't really like, you know, I'm not really the best at it because it's just grew up in the situ you know, in the situation where I, it was just poor communication. People hollered at you, hit, you know, my dad shit used to hit us upside the head, shit. That's that's poor communication. So, you know, a motherfucker don't know how to pull you to the side and say, hey, listen to me. This is why I'm saying this. I need you to understand this instead of just hard enough and whacking, you know, but that, you know, that's generational shit. So I don't fault him. That's how he was raised. So, you know, the main thing really is just being able to talk and, and, and just respect, just communication and respect. Because at the end of the day, even if we don't fit in the, in the relationship to where, you know what I'm saying, to where we together or, you know, it, it don't need to be that animosity and that, 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 but you know, it is, it's hurt feelings and, you know, but at the same time, man, you gotta just put your, you know, your ego aside, man, and, you know, I don't have no enemies, you know what I'm saying, because I know how to, you know what I'm saying, admit, admit when I'm wrong, you know what I'm saying, stand down, and, you know, all of that shit, it just come with wisdom, I guess, being alive. Somebody somewhere watching this, they want to be a rapper or they want to be an actor. You know what I'm saying? And you know where you at today? You went through a lot of trials and tribulations. Mm -hmm. Try to help them avoid those trials and tribulations to get to where you are today. What advice do you have for them? Do the fucking right thing at all times. You know, a lot of times we, you know, we fuck up the, our own time and our own life and we get in our own way, you know what I'm saying? Lying, cheating, and stealing. You know what I'm saying? We, we cheat ourselves uh, of the greatness of life by doing that type of shit. So, man, follow your first mind. Do what make you happy, you know what I'm saying? Follow your dreams, man. Be it, don't, don't let nobody disturb your peace, you know what I mean? Be honest, you know, <laughs> be trustworthy, you know, tell the truth, you know, speak your mind, but, you know, have a, have a, have a decency about it, you know what I mean? It's, it's, a, it's the right way to do every fucking thing, you know what I'm saying? And you're not going to always do the right thing, but just try to do the right thing all the time. You know, they say, God know your heart, and that's the only thing that matter, and I feel like that's kind of the basis of karma, you know what I'm saying? You might f fuck up or do something fucked up and not really mean it, you know what I'm saying? Karma, karma understand that, or, you know, God understand that. So just, just for the most part, man, just do the right thing. All right, where, what's your focus on life and in business? I wanna, I wanna continue to act. I wanna be, I, be, I wanna be one of the greats. I do. Uh, now that I found acting, it's more than a passion. It's you know, it's my life. You know, it's something that my my grandfather put in my blood, and you know, and now it's just time to put put my whole focus into that and building building generations of actors and art. You know what I'm saying? Through the gift that God gave me. You know what I'm saying? So. You know, for me, I, I want to, you know, I want to open school, uh, you know, a school, you know, I want to start a film company and, you know, and I want to do all type of film, you know what I'm saying? 
action film, uh, uh, gangster movies, uh, black and white, LGBT, you know what I'm saying? Everybody got a lane, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, uh, I want to own my own wine, uh, you know, my own vineyard, you know, my own company. Uh, I want a tequila company. Um, yeah, I just want to get into, you know what I'm saying, the things I'm, I'm into and, you know what I mean? I would, I would love to get back into coaching, but, you know, that's just going to take some time, you know what I mean? So, you know. <laughs> Cho, go Cho. You know what it is. Yo, y'all niggas with a stay DL. Down low. Stop flossing, man. What you, you, what you just, you just want them to just come and get you? Learn from our mistakes, man. That's what this is about, learn from mistakes. Choke no joke, let's go. You already know, make a love, let's go. My aim was enlightened, drop jewels on you. You thinking I'm jealous, I ain't got cheddar like you. I'm the dude to a game, you got school. Was a local cat, snatch you when I made moves. I'm paranoid and preaching, you was sleeping.